start with Harley Walker. Ms. Walker, the floor is yours. Good morning. Um, my name is Harley Walker. My pronouns are she, her, and I'm 16 years old from Alabama. I want to thank you all for the opportunity to tell you more about myself and what it's like to be a trans person. I'm hoping to share what my journey has been like and to clear up some of the false information that I've heard coming out of Congress and state legislatures, including the Alabama State Legislature. Um, there has been so much misinformation shared around what it means to be a transgender person and what healthcare looks like for trans youth. Most of what I've been hearing is inaccurate at best or just outright falsehoods misrepresenting the steps and care taken by qualified medical professionals. Growing up, I had a really great childhood, a loving family and friends. As I grew, I just felt like something was different for me. Between 10 and 11, I told my parents that I believed I was transgender. Nobody pushed me to become transgender. No one suggested, forced, or influenced me to choose to be trans because it is not a choice. I knew that this was who I was. After I came out, my parents were doing the absolute best they could to support me, uh, took me to our local pediatrician. He sat down with us and referred us to medical professionals in our state that could best treat me. He never once pushed an agenda onto me. Instead, he listened to, the te he listened to me, his patient, and advised all of us on how I could get the best health care for my situation. The team of specialists that he referred us to were incredible. They focused on getting to know me, understanding my specific case, getting to know my parents, and figuring out how to best care for me as a patient. They advised us at no point would they talk about surgeries on a minor. It wasn't even something that they would discuss. They never pushed any agenda. And instead, one of the things that stuck out to me and my parents was that if I ever decided to stop or change my mind, that it was okay, and they would support me no matter what. This is the opposite of what I hear in the news and in the legislatures. It makes me wonder why legislators think that they can tell my parents and my doctors that I can't get the care I need to be happy and healthy. I want all of you to look at me here now and hear my words. I am a very happy 16-year-old girl. I have wonderful friends who accept me for who I fully am, and I am active in my school's debate team and other curricular activities. I love to travel. I enjoy concerts and music like Taylor Swift and listening to my record collection in my room. I get all A's in school, and I am looking forward to college. I am not miserable in my life. I am not depressed. I'm just trying to be in a teenager in America. S same as any other teen. But I keep having to jump through hoops that other people don't have to. I keep having to spend spring break lobbying for my rights to exist while my friends are on vacation. I am here in front of this committee instead of on my summer vacation, just to ensure that my right to exist is not taken away. In Alabama, not one lawmaker was willing to sit down with me and my parents to learn about what it's really like to be transgender. Instead, these lawmakers pushed rhetoric and laws that weren't true and were not logical, saying things like transgender people are being groomed by our parents, which is nonsense. In support of these laws, my governor has decided to say horrible things about me and those like me in my state. I would love for you to imagine a moment if these statements were made about you or your kids. How would this make you feel? What would you do to protect your kids from these harmful laws and statements? If you were me, would you want to stay in a state where the people who were elected to represent you uh, and make sure that you have a safe place to live and instead talk about your family this way? I live only a few miles from the best college in my state, but I can't even consider going there because of the continued attacks against me and my community. I've had to do a lot of thinking about college. Alabama was one of the first states to ban trans health care, but because of the new laws that have been passed in states across the nation and because we don't have the Equality Act to help protect me from discrimination, I've had to start looking at colleges very far away from where I was born and raised. My parents say this breaks their heart. They can't stand the thought of their kid being so far away where they can't help me if I needed them. This type of discrimination, which will make me have to move where I live or work to go to school, is not designed to protect or help me. I want you to understand that discrimination makes me unsafe. This journey isn't easy. As I first began my transition, there was an incredible amount of bullying in my middle school. <clears throat> um, so much so that my parents decided I needed to go to online school. Not because I wanted to, but the bullying got so bad it was getting close to violence and the school was doing nothing about it. We worked with the school and I eventually got to go back, but kids shouldn't feel helpless at school against being bullied or discriminated against just because they are different. Leaders in our state and country have the ability to help. However, so many of them have decided to promote that same bullying and discrimination. Despite all this, despite being called a demon, a monster, or other despicable things, I love my life. I love my family, I love my friends, and I am happy. I am asking for you to help us stop certain people from using the transgender community as a political pawn. 
Please stop attacking our lives for votes or money. These are human rights hanging in the balance. Help us communicate that they are impacting people's lives and our pursuit of happiness. We are just like your kid, just like your neighbor, and you. We also deserve the ability to be happy. Thank you.